What's poppin' everybody? Big Mr. Boy here, back with another video. <clears throat> and today we're a little closer to uh, my microphone, which is my iPad. Uh, so you can probably hear me better now. And uh, today we got Chex Mix. Now I don't eat much Chex Mix, really. I can't remember the last time I ever had Chex Mix. But uh, my dad got me some spicy dill Chex Mix. So we're gonna... So we're going to get this. Dill pickle Chex pieces and spicy Chex mix. Oh, so they're not all just spicy dill flavors. Some of them are dill flavors, some of them are just spicy. That's not going to go about it. Two flavors. One intense taste. Um, we got dill pickle Chex with hot and spicy flavor pizzas for maximum flavor. So just the Chex, like, which I guess is that is dill pickle flavored and then always are just spicy. So, you really gotta, I gotta get a kind of a, a sample of all of the pieces, I guess, to do a proper review. Um, okay, here. Okay. No clear way to open this, I'll, I'll just open it like that. My bag of chips. Mm. Oh yeah, that actually smells like, um, like spicy pickles, like if you ever get a, a jar of a, uh, of like, of a, uh, just spicy dill pickles, this, this definitely smells like it. Um, okay. So we are going to approach this tasting one piece at a time, and then I'm going to taste one of everything at once. So let's go with the checks. I believe this is the checks. Let's try this. That was interesting. And that hit me with a flavor I was really not expecting. And then it kind of faded into pickle. That was weird. I gotta try that again. I guess it's the corn flavor? I think it's corn, right? It like overwhelmingly hit me with this strange flavor. I guess it's like corn chip flavor and then just fade into dill pickle. At the end, it tastes very good and has a moderate amount of spiciness. Um, but at first that was really weird. Let's go pretzel. Mm. Tastes like a pretzel that has been touching dill pickle flavor things. Let's go with the Dorito. I guess it's kind of like a rich. Yeah, a little, little pickly, a little cheesy, if anything. I think it's kind of just like a Ritz cracker. Let's get one of these. This looks interesting. Ooh. That has a lot of flavor. I think the flavor gets trapped in the network of corn chipness. Yeah, I think that's my favorite. It traps a lot of flavor, and it doesn't overwhelm you with uh, the kind of corniness. Oh, that looks like a flavorful one. It was. That's my favorite, by far. Now I think there's also round pretzels, right? That's a whole Czech thing. Is there's round and square pretzels, and I think I tasted the yeah, I tasted the, the square one. Let's get the round one. Tastes the same, but in a different shape. If you could believe that, um, let's get one of everything. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get one good looking one of every variety. Let's go with. This. Oh, hmm. A lot of the like solid ones just look like, like at some parts look like these ones, the gritty ones. But then they're, they're just kind of like some parts are filled in. This one looks correct though. Um, take a piece. I don't see a rye chip in here. To my understanding, that's a big Chex Mix thing. It's like a rye chip. And I have not identified that within this bag. Um, 
and the, um, the pretzels are scarce. Maybe they're all at the bottom for density reasons or something, I don't know. But I'm really not seeing much pretzel going on in here. But I've got to find some for the sake of the experiment. Okay. I'm not seeing another round pretzel adjust. Oh, I got it on my desk. Well, that's... Okay, okay, I found a round pretzel. Okay, now, this is epic. This is the sample size we got. We tasted one of all these at once. Here we go. Alright. That is good. Wow. That really changes the experience. The predominant flavors, I would say, are pretzel, cheese, and pickle. With a hit of spiciness, which I guess is like exactly what you would hope. I recommend that. Just like a handful. Like a variety. Very good. As, a, as, a, as an outsider to Chex Mix, I don't need Chex Mix very much. Chex Mix maxed spicy dip. I would say it's an A+. It's very good. Um, and I recommend getting a variety in each bite. Because that was a whole experience, really. Life-changing, I would not say. But it's a pretty good snack. Spiciness is important because not spicy enough just seems like a ripoff. Not too spicy, you can't really eat it. There's definite spice after having, and you know, spices like a cumulative, a, whoa, a cumulative. When you continue to eat a snack, I've probably had 10 pieces so far, or something like that. And, uh, and yeah, I'm starting to feel a pretty moderate spice. So, I would say spice levels are good. No. I wouldn't attempt to eat this whole bag at once without like a drink or something. No. It's pretty good. Thumbs up. And, uh, and that's the end of the video. We didn't even.